we knew the show was going to be expensive because television never used two stars like Roger Moore and Tony Curtis before. Tony Curtis had never made a television show before. He was a feature player. Roger had made a great success with The Saint. Uh, so we knew it was going to be expensive and we decided that we would go for broke. We would really make a very glossy, expensive... We had expensive actors who were making an expensive looking show and it it worked very well. It uh, The show was highly successful. Let's see, we started filming in the south of France in May 1970, I think it was. And um, we stayed in France for about six to eight weeks and we shot the backgrounds or some scenes from about six different episodes. Um, we then went back to London and we did the studio interiors so that we linked up all the six episodes that we shot in the south of France with uh, the, the interiors in London. We used um, studio sets for foreign locations and we would send second units out to different countries to get the background material with doubles and cars and so on and so forth. It was, in television terms, a fairly expensive and very glossy series. You start off with uh, the two very, very experienced actors uh, and they had an immediate rapport with each other. Uh, we encouraged them to ad-lib. In other words, we had the script written, but we said, use your own words. And um, we wanted to encourage spontaneity in the, in the show, to make it look as, it was, if, as if the actors were thinking the things up as they were going along, and they were, in fact. As long as they kept within the framework of the story, Every take was slightly different. The big problem was, we had two or three takes on the scene, each take was different. But the fact that we had two such good artists made the thing work thoroughly.